What's up everyone? YouTube Savage here. Totally not Twitch Savage. This is YouTube Savage. Wow. So I got a cool deck for you guys today. Um, I've been this is another control priest deck, but it's quite different. I've been playing a very heal focused overheal deck, and uh, like you can see the score right here: twenty wins, eleven losses. That's pretty good. Our current rank is uh, oh top one thousand legend. Wow. Okay, so we went from like one point five k to eight eight forty, but I, I was climbing. So if I get playing, I think we went even higher. So, what are we doing here? Overheal, one of the new mechanics from the new set. We got the Crimson Cleric that overheal draws. We got the Heart Drop, which overheals. Summon a random minion with cost equal to the amount overhealed. So, yeah, those are, those are new things when overheal. And then we have the Hedonis, which uh, starts with 4 health lost and then overheal. Deal 5 damage to a random enemy. Okay, so what else do we have here? We got the Flash Heal, so some cool Flash Heal combos. Obviously with Hedonis, you, that's the perfect, Flash Heal is the perfect card to start with the Hedonis overhealing with, because it overheals one over, so if you have, let's say you have a fan club, and you have mana to hero power, and you have a Flash Heal, be very careful that you always start with the Flash Heal, because that will deal, do 5 damage, and then after that you can activate your fan club and your hero power. Heart drop into Flash Heal, very powerful. One mana, five drop there. What do we not have? We do not have the Steel cards. We don't have this, we don't have... We don't have the Identity Thefts, but I haven't really honestly missed them that much. Still got the Rats for some disruptions, or Finley for Swap if we have the wrong board. If we don't need board clears and we have board clears or... Or whatever, like if we need to do certain things. Also, Finley very good with the... Manager Swap. So the Manager right now, Fizzle, Ruin, Steam Cleaner. So Fizzle is for control matches. Basically what you do is you play Fizzle, you synchronize Fizzle and then you then you swap with uh, Sir Finley. You can have an infinite deck, you will never run out of cards against other priests. Also just like getting extra value against Blood DK or whatever. It's a very powerful combo, that's why we have it. But we don't only need it against control, so that's why Fizzle is in the ETC. Ruin helps against Druids, for example, if they play Jailer. Uh, this deck has a reasonable chance of winning against Jailer because of Whirlpool and uh, stuff. It's and the Dirt Rats too. Remember, against Druid, synchronizing Dirt Rats is really powerful. Uh, we also have the main deck Theotar, so that's another way to potentially steal Anub or uh, Jailer. And uh, the last card, Steam Cleaner, mostly good against uh, Spell Demon Hunter. That deck can be a huge pain in the ass. So what you do against Spell Demon Hunter, you play the, you keep ETC in your starting hand, you play it on 4, you pick Steam Cleaner, you Steam Cleaner on 5, and uh, hopefully you get all 3, but at least like some of the, some of the, uh, what is it called, like the shard of like the, the souls, the whatever souls that uh, give them creatures. And also you can destroy if your opponent for whatever reason is still playing uh, Riven there, you can, uh, you can do that too. Swell and Everlasting still a strong combo. Handmaiden might be a surprise to some, but it's Handmaiden is really juicy with these like one mana spells. When you're doing the Flash Heal Shard, you know, all this synchronize. It's actually been very easy to enable. It's like surprisingly easy. I haven't had any issues enabling the Handmaidens. It's just been a really powerful card. Uh, helps us go through our own deck a little quicker. Oh yeah, Sunfury Cleric. Yeah, I should talk about this when we talk about... And Cannibalize also. Both do AoE heals, so... So it's a really nice combo, that, because Cannibalize doesn't just heal your hero, it also heals your minions. So it's a very common to go, like, let's say you go uh, you go Heart Drop into Cannibalize, you get a free 8 drop. Or or you go, just if you have the one extra mana, you go like Crimson Cleric into Cannibalize, you just get a free card out of there. And then you can Fan Club too. Some some decks, if you want to do it, I think, if you, or if you need to like replace some legendaries that you don't have. You don't have, let's say you don't have Hedonis. I think you can add another one of those, like, you can play the Naga. This is actually a pretty... Pretty decent card in the deck. I do think it's uh, inferior to the Clerky because of so if you top deck it, you might not have a holy spell and you can lose because of that. But it's it's not very hard to enable. So so yeah, but it's it only has one more attack than the Clerky, so the Clerky is better. But it's it's very close to to the, to the same. Very very close, almost as good. Board clears, we get big board clears here. Clean the scenes, two clean the scenes, two harmonic pops, two whirlpools. Harmonic pop especially really nice with the love everlasting. Uh, clean the scene, remember, because of the Infuse tree. It's often a card you want to keep in your starting hand. Not in every matchup, if you know against, you're against like control of some sort. Maybe you don't want to clean the scene, but very often clean the scene is a very good like starting hand card because you might get it infused uh, uh, for turn five, and then it's just a really really powerful board clear. Harmonic pops really nice. Swiss Heart and the other. Yeah, it's it's a really really good deck. It's a little bit of a different twist on uh, 
on Control Priest, um, not doing the Thieves instead of doing the Heals. It has been very successful against some of the most popular decks in the meta, like Unholy Death Knight. This version has performed way better than the, than the Thief one against the Unholy DK because of all the healings. You can really like stabilize so well and like obviously the double shard of the Naru, like all, all the healings just like buys you enough time, you you, you shard and, and uh, yeah. So almost every actor deck seems to be favorable. Against Control you still have a chance with this. It's just a fun deck, man. There's a reason why I had 65% win rate. Here are some of the best games from today's uh, that, I, that I had with this deck today. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Games. Okay, let's, let's play some spells this game. Both you and Gibbler grew your hair. Yeah, dude. You're, you are better at Hearthstone when you have long hair. That's how it works. To two cathedrals. I'm a little like low on spells, I'm gonna chill. I'll play this Love Everlasting next turn, I think. He's not gonna pop yet, he's gonna wait one more turn. Like he has to. Unfortunately, this is at like deal 3, 6, 6. It might be better if it was the other way around right now. Because this is gonna be a Giga Chad from this Sin Stone. Uh. Oh my god! No! Three health! Five health, three health, okay. So, how big is this? 8 8. Okay, it won't be enough to kill me. We're fine, we're fine. We're good, we're good. Just no second graveyard. It's gonna be like 10 then, but I'll still have some. We'll be totally fine. Right? Stop playing cards already. Then, then. Oh! 4 4. That 4 4 might have been too much now. So, there's gonna be how much power? There will be 12, 16 powers. It needs to be late. It's unlikely. It is possible. So, if I went for this, I could get lighted burns for this. No, no, no. On average, we have to do this. We just gotta do it. Hope for the best. Maybe we could trade with this. We could trade with this, maybe. How low? Very, <laughs> very low. Very, very low. Oh my god. But I mean, I have no choice. I gotta jam this and hope he doesn't have the two damage. I know it's unlike. He, he probably kills me, but it's my only chance. Last color, yeah, probably. For example, that was tough. It just didn't line up that well. I mean, this says he doesn't have it. He's just making a ghost right now. Holy shit, guys, we might win, but I think we have to get lucky and uh, this has to kill the 7-7. Seven, seven. Like, it's gotta kill the 7-7, seven, seven, dude. But if we do kill the 7-7, seven, seven, I think we win. 1 in 3. No! I mean, he didn't have it last turn, so I guess technically he could still not have it, but... Damn it! <laughs> oh god. What does he get from the potion? Please, summon a random tree mid drop. Oh, okay. I mean, it feels like he's like kind of like... Scraping the bottom of the barrel right now. It's random again, like... He could miss. Three damage is lethal, destroy random, he probably ends up winning. Um... That doesn't do it. Oh, but he still has mana. 
because it was zero cost. Oh my god, dude. So Astalar is one off. Whoa! Heal for 12. Did you like misclick or was that actually like a strategy of his? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can steal for 12 there. Do you think he forgot that it has life still? I don't know what to think. I mean, it might have been necessary. Maybe he didn't have anything else. Like, it might have not been a mistake. It's just... Okay. Going for some one mana random spells. I mean, they could be anything, really. They could suck or they could be like one mana pyroblasts. They could be 20 damage right now if it's two pyros. Wow. So, so he has a second copy of the same. Right. So we don't want to play too many minions at the same time. I think I'm gonna. I think I do this for the buff. I mean, I don't really want this to my hand, but. We can still uh, finally swap too. Darkstone of Golganet. I should steal the one mana collateral with this if I can. Ooh, that's annoying though. Cause now there's so many like shit minions in his hand. So we have 50% chance to get the collateral, right? Seems worth it to try. Because we might also get Astalor if, if we don't get that one. <laughs> Thank you! You can have the shard. <laughs> and now we're like safe from it too, so... It wasn't just that we got the clear, but we took it away. <laughs> I kind of want one of these. Our gift of Thirty-seven HP, baby. Rage quit. Yeah, seems like it. Your opponent left. Your opponent is a loser. Oh, I would be salty too, maybe. I don't know. That was a fun game on my part. What's your band like? Uh, it's uh, Fiesel on the drums, Steam Cleaner on the guitar, and Light Bomb on the vocals. <laughs> Enzo! Oh my god, Enzo plays tempo, but... I'm still. I think these these two are just the. They go well together. Ah, ah, I see you New class. It's gonna be some kind of tempo deck. I played Enzo a bunch. People are saying that he snipes, but he doesn't snipe. Cause I play him off stream too, or I used to. Like I, so I, he, I played against him like a million times. But he, he's not on my friends list, and I play him the same amount off stream, so. Nothing susy about Enzu. Susie. Shushi. Mmm, shushi. Let's get the tem It's more important to get the tempo against tempo deck. What is this? After another minion dies. Creepy painting. More like crappy painting. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Fight Turtle! Thanks for two months. Sub, Sub Chevy. Sub Fight Turtle, how are you doing? I hope you've been well. Oh Sub my god, he's gonna, he's gonna give me a new one. <laughs> Did he forget? 
Like, he should just kill the pain thing. It was strictly... No, but he couldn't kill the pain thing. He was like 1-0. I was gonna say it's strictly better to just kill the pain thing. But I guess it's not strictly better. But it might have still been better, but it's not strictly better. Wow, that's really good. Because it protects these, so I can activate. True strength rises from the ashes. Wow, this location activation is kind of bonkers. Your son, welcome. Blasphemy. It's just too much value. Like, I, I can't pass up on this, really. It's just way too much value. We can let this one die. I don't need that one. Do you want a two drop or a god? I, I think we go with that two drop. Two six? What? What is happening? Oh my god, dude. What is this game? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that game. We got some pretty nice random minions. Alright, let's do this. What is your favorite kind of chips? Have you tried like salt and wine gar or tortilla? I don't know. I don't really eat much chips. I don't eat anything sweet. I don't eat candy. I don't really eat, you know, chips. I don't eat chocolate. Or anything. I'm just... I don't know. Vinegar. Wine gar. Vinegar. Wine. Whatever. 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 Oh, I would love everlasting. I'm gonna try again. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the sub, Twincy. Thank you, Twincy. Much appreciated. We don't need to uh, light it burns that one. I'm actually surprised that he didn't trade it in and play this last time, seeing that he had it. Alright, so we're gonna try again to get the love everlasting, baby. Oh, I get it later. They kind of like this. I know we only get the three heals, so this won't go to full, but I still like it. This feels good, getting like board control too. Not gonna take any chance of this getting patchwork or something. Nope, no way. Absolutely no way. Even though light burns and like location was a really strong play. When I have an opportunity to play this well now, I'll take it. He might patchwork here, so I'm gonna play this. I don't have any minions in my hand now. But if he goes for more grain, I can get a 7 drop. Is hard drop a good card? Yeah, it is pretty good. Like, the 5 health is kinda sweet, and it goes well with the location. It's not that amazing in like every single matchup, but it definitely works. I've had some good moments with him. See? Oh, that's a bad one. If he plays the 8 drop board clear, it's an interesting decision, because like... Yeah, because we could well pull the second one of these. But it's like really crappy on them, but... But I think I'll do it. It's not, It's more about killing the one in the deck than it is about killing the one on the board. So I haven't drawn a copy thing yet, so I wouldn't be able to like... Um, synchronize the 7 drop if I... Oh my god. Well, this time I'm... Oh my... What? Riven there. 
I mean, this is gonna go long. I, I should do it. Definitely copying that one. Huh. The zero attack destroyer. Oh, well, we'll take an extra gun, Nivalais. Do you ever leave it up so you can commit more into the whirlpool? It's also like killing this by myself is the interesting decision. Like, should I ever should I ever kill it so he can't like Sylvana steal? He probably doesn't have a Sylvanas. I, I'm not gonna I don't think I'll kill it myself. Don't think so. Play it in Whirlpool. I mean yeah, if we get two turns like that. That obviously takes multiple turns to pull off. So if he if he Sylvana steals that I could silence the whirlpool, then we would kill this one without horses going in the deck, and we would destroy the one in the hand too. The shard was a pretty good draw, I think. Drown, yeah. It's just this does still cost mana chat, but it's not free to play. By the way. My blood for the Leech King. Wow. I think I'll actually do it if he left it up. No, he's killing it. Two Finleys. This art, man. This this art, like, what is happening here? Oh my goodness. Finley good because, of, yeah, it's good for the, for the Riven there. True! No value from the heal, but seems like the play. What do I think about the Finnish Eurovision? I haven't really been like watching, so I I don't know what's going on there. I don't know who's even. Is it, is it the Caria or something? I, I I haven't heard the song. Like I actually haven't heard the song. I hope it's a banger. Just go Finley to find the horses. Yeah. Pick me, pick me. Could do that. It's a pretty good looking pool though. Cause he loses a bunch of stuff. Alright. It's just my hand is like kinda good. I, I don't think I can lead. Do you miss identity death playing this deck? It depends on what I'm playing against. Like, it depends on my opponent's deck. There are certainly matchups where identity death, like against Blood DK, but I generated one from here anyway. Where you followed? Been a while since I did Savage Constructed. I've been playing this for more than a year now. I got back to Constructed a little, like it was uh, probably like 14 months ago ish. Hey, that's good. Big fan of this one. I'm expecting you. Oh! Blake Charice! I just gave him a love everlasting. Oh, I was thinking it's like... Oh no. I forgot that's even a card. Whatever. You know what? It doesn't matter. It's not gonna matter. We'll get the dub in the end. Okay. Mm, so I probably swap for a shard. You play this first. No shard. 
I did get all three horses. The rush is always last if you have an option like this. If he somehow steals, we'll do the copy thing. Like Sylvanas, yeah, exactly. If he Sylvanas steals. Batswerk Inc. Ooh, that would be a little scary because I have these in the hand. But we have two two dummies here, so. Oh no. Did he get one? He did not hit it. Okay, we're good. Could have been bad though. Alright, first one down. Welcome lost. Let me introduce you. So I synchronize the bats for guys. I, I still think we we save the synchronize for like to make sure we got the horde. No fucking dude! I forgot about that. I gotta waste something. I wasn't thinking about that. Whatever. I will never okay, so now we synchronize that. Or should we synchronize the Sylvanas? <laughs> Let's steal this. Is that even better? I think it's even better, right? Because we get it on the board immediately. Lul W. Give it back. Glad I saved the synchronize. Such a fun card. This is like low key, one of the best. Gods, like one of the most fun gods. Like the finale is kind of relevant too, but it's just oh, I love it. It's not OP, but it's very interesting because you it has both good use early and late. Because when you play a one drop into turn two synchronize, that's a really powerful play because of the finale. So like early synchronize is really good because of finale, and in late game, if you are smart, like you can also have really like strong outcomes from it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is GG right there. Got him. How is it not OP? Cause like, it's so slow, you still have to, it's, it doesn't mana cheat, so. That's a banger game. <laughs> that was fun, I did enjoy it. Okay, if it's one of those acro ones, the Rata or two should be fine. Is Love Everlasting really necessary? It is, it is. Especially for console matches and like, even for aggro, because you can do the turn for Harmonic Pop with this. Like if you have this with Harmonic Pop, or if you have this with uh, Svalna, it's really, it's really strong. I, I do have to say, I, I think it's core. It's kind of a must have in my, in my view. Oh my goodness. Love Everlasting is a very good card. It is a very good card. It's true. True that. Oof. Why does he have the perfect hand? We have to play here for them, but for sure. Okay, 3 4. That's fine. Dorty Drata. The ride was okay. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that great, but it wasn't that bad. It was meat. It was very meat, guys. That rat was very, very meat. Oh, it went face. That's very brave. I wanna kill some of these high health ones. <laughs> no, I should do that too, too. Maybe, was it better not to play the look? No, I like having the location on board. It's gonna give us more value later, too. We always doing the shard, I was just... Was there like a better love everlasting player? Ooh, he's going face way too much. I'm gonna punish him here. Activate first to get an extra dude. Heartthrob seems like a good guy. Always thinking of his fans and if they're enjoying the show or not. Uh, I haven't really thought about that, but now that you mention it, yeah. I love this deck, Savage. This deck is love. It is love. It's so nice. I like this too. It's very fun. I've been having a blast playing today. 
All right, so we're going for uh, harmonic pop, or oh, that's good too. Um, Gag wait. You know, actually, on a second thought. We should buff these, can we, evenly? Let's see if we trade. I can't lose if I trade. Oh, I'm glad I buffed them evenly, but wow, that's actually still kind of sucks. Wow, wow, that was quite a steal there. Bro, oh my god, yes. Do you want this healthy or do you want the, an 8 drop? Well, 7 drop, okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll get the big, dude. Ah, oh, it's so big, dude. Look at that! Under King! Alright, you can go too. Deck list. It's on the screen on the right side. If you are if you are on desktop, you can also this will be a thing you can click on, which gives you the deck. Or alternatively, you can type exclamation mark deck in the chat, and it will give you a link. You can get it from the extension. You can see it on screen. You can get the link in the chat. You can ask for it. What's in the etc? There's got one card and it's Astalor. Okay, so this kills one of my own guys. Oh, none of my own guys and all of his guys. This is against the legendary if he has that one, please. If he plays the Marogar. If he topics Marogar. Ba-da-da-ba-da-da-ba-ba-ba-ga-ga-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-